driving the coal industry out of business. Mm -hmm. Obama even said that he said, you can open up a coal burning plant, but we will, we will drive you out of business. We will regulate you out of business. And that's exactly what they're doing with the EPA. And let me remind the folks out there listening to you. The EPA was created December 2nd, 1970 by Richard Nixon with an R by his name. We can't blame this all on the Democrats. We have, and it was created by executive order, no less. Mm -hmm. so it, has, it has no jurisdiction over the American people because it wasn't even created in the manner that it was intended to be created, and that's through our legislature. The three branches of government, our legislature, our judicial, and our executive. And the, right now, our judicial and our executive are not outside, are not only outside of the lines of their jurisdiction by the Constitution, but they're completely off the page. Mm -hmm. We have the judicial that is creating laws. They were never intended to create laws. We have the executive creating agencies and laws. They were never intended to create agencies and laws. And the, and the legislature is not using the tools in its toolbox, and that is Article 1, Section 8, and that's the power of the purse. So these agencies that are out of control and another one, the United States Fish and Wildlife, in my backyard, now just just listed an endangered species. It's called the white bluff splatter pod, and everybody says, what is that? It's a plant. It, it flowers, a yellow flower. The United States Fish and Wildlife said this plant was unique in its own. It's a, it's a species of its own, and we said, no, it's not. And so we gathered up splatter pots across the state plant with the white blood splatter pot. We even went to Idaho and Oregon and got the species out of there. We took them to Idaho State University and said, do a DNA, DNA analysis. They did. They came back with a finding that there was no difference between any of the bladder pots. They're all the same species. But yet when we gave this information to the United States Fish and Wildlife, they said, we can't recognize that study because it wasn't done by an official agency. They then took that species from a threat to an endangered, and they in their findings, they wrote that the, 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 the white plus bladder pod, it, it, the demise of it, is being created by the Columbia Basin Irrigation Project. That is my way of life. I'm a farmer. Mm -hmm. Not water. We are a desert. So they're trying to take our water away, just like they did in the San Joaquin Valley, just like they did in the Klamath Basin. Right. In the and the uh, bed house. They take water away for any plant or animal that they can deem as threatened or endangered. That's right. And so we're allowing these agencies to destroy America. I want to defund these agencies. I want to rein them in because they're out of control. Right. I want to address you to uh, California. We had the, we, they had the guppy. You know, we had the guppy. You know, and it. Sorry about that. Uh, we we had we, we, we had the guppy, you know, um, and they're trying to tell us, oh, as an endangered species, so we cannot water the farmers either, you know. That's ridiculous. Go ahead, Clint. That that is exactly what happened in the San Joaquin Valley, Vernon, California. They took away the water over this guppy fish. Right. That's right in the backyard of Nancy Pelosi. Right. These, these progressives want to destroy America. They're taking away our ability. That's right. Live in, 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 in freedom and to create, and that's what the American dream was all about, Charlton Heston, that it's not success or riches, it's freedom. Freedom, that's the American dream. Right. Freedom to create, to innovate, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of religion, of worship. This is America, and we are losing our freedoms at, at, a, at a pace right now that if we don't get freedom of looking, people back there to serve this country, our children will never have the chance to live their American dream. That's right. That's why I'm, I'm going back to serve. I'm glad. I'm glad we got people like you actually running for Congress. It's about darn time. You know what? And I'm surprised the, the the national news networks have not mentioned, you know, here you are, a great example, because uh, you you personally gave your story out there. I was not even ready for that one. 
um, and my heart went out to you. It really did because you know here you are. You had you you, you have a daughter, and you and you also had a um a, a neighbor of yours, a friend who actually uh, had had to deliver a baby at home. They got denied of, of the hospital, denied them for paying cash because they did not have a health care provider. That I, I I don't know you. Yeah, that's that's what you call um. Uh, stop at work. I don't know what you call that. I have no. I don't know that. I. I thought this was supposed to be a freedom loving nation. I guess we're not anymore, Clint. No, we we're losing it unless we have people to go back and serve. So I'm asking all your listeners, please go to my website. It's Didier D I D I E R the number four Congress dot org. Go there. Look at where I stand on the issues. Mm-hmm. Help me because we have the establishment in our state. Slate Gordon, an ex-senator, supposed to be a Republican senator, is coming into the 4th Congressional. He's coming over to Cascade Range and coming over here in the 4th Congressional. And he's putting $55,000 in ads in the taxi so that this, so that this liberal named Dan Newhouse that I'm running against who, who thinks that a single judge should be able to determine whether or not you're sane in mind enough to own your Second Amendment rights. A single judge. This man, he wants to repeal and replace Obamacare. I'd ask him, so your socialist program in health care is better than the Democrats? Because any time the government's involved in health care, it's socialism flat out. We have, we have the liberal Republican wing coming into this fourth congressional and trying to influence it because they, don't, they do not want a true constitutional conservative elected. Right. And therefore... This, this we will stay on the same track. He's also said he will vote for John Boehner. John Boehner is not using the tools in his tool chest to, keep, to rein in this out of control government, and that's Article One, Section Eight, Power of the Purse. That's right. I said I will. I said I will not vote for John Boehner, and he said he will vote for John Boehner. That's the difference between me and this this candidate that I'm running against, because I stand for by the Republican platform. Of life, of a marriage between a man and a woman, of individual liberty as our highest political value. That's what I stand by, and I'm going to go back and stand tall against this progressive movement. Great. That's what we need. It's about.